Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Hearts of Iron 4. We left off last episode in the Soviet Union with a little bit of problem to, uh, to, to sort out right here. A little bit of bulge in the line we need to uh, iron out. But we do have some, some new Panzer Divisions coming in to help. Moving in really slow, so we're going to augment that with these guys right here. All right, so these guys are cut off. You are just going to hang out here. I oh, know, stop it. Dump it, dump it, dump it, dump it, dump it, dump it, dump it. Okay, um, let's do this. Or not. Or not. Or not. What the hell is going on? It's the, uh... Standard front line issue with this game. You cannot tell one one unit to surround another enemy unit for some reason. Who the fuck knows why? Caucus region, I guess we'll put these guys in. Let them go handle that. Moscow, we need to take. We need to take Moscow. United States is called Mexico into the is an enemy. Poor Mexico. You're going to end up getting your ass beat again. As long as I take out the Soviet Union. Oh, yeah, and I figured out a lot of the, um... A lot of those convoys were getting sunk because Japan was... I was exporting tons and tons and tons of resources to Japan. I don't know why. You don't really control the trade in the game that much. So what I did is I just uh, went on closed economy. When I went on closed economy, look what happened. I have a surplus of oil. Not of tungsten, but oil. Panzers, where you go? What, what happened to their orders? The fuck's going on here? Screw this. I'll just manually control it. You guys, um... Do that. And let's make sure everybody is assigned to this. And we'll take these, uh, tanks. Oh, come on! You kidding me? Whoa! What was that? Everybody just like... They, they all just decided to leave. You guys saw that, right? A lot less... I mean, there's still some convoys going through, but a lot less at least. Alright, so we're just gonna keep this going. Keep this attack on the go. This one should be a absolute smash. Just blast through their lines without any trouble. Moscow is the only thing we really need to work on. And this pocket right here. How many people we got on it? Not enough. Alright, do this. And tell them to go. And squash it. Squash, 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 squash. Squash that beef. I have beef with them and I want to squash it. How about you do this? There we go. I was hoping this would go faster, but uh, it is rough terrain. So I'm not ter terribly surprised at that. Everything else seems fine. Attack on Moscow's moving. Pockets getting uh, closed up. Here, let's do this. Make sure it's nice and closed. Overrun, overrun, overrun. Then once this is done, all those units will disseminate back out to their respective front. Siam capitulated. To the United Kingdom? Oh, uh, the United Kingdom is beating um, Japan over here. Okay. Well, the Japanese have a huge front to worry about with Russia, so I'm not terribly concerned about that. Let's keep overrunning VPs in as much territory as we can. Moving in on Moscow. Hoping we're uh, coming from the south pretty well. And we're going to overrun these guys. Shouldn't be too much trouble. Boom. Come on, get in there. Full weight. There's only a couple Soviet divisions in here. There's four of them. And overrun, overrun, overrun. They're gone. Alrighty, so uh, these tanks... Now they're set on that second. Well, let's do this. They're set on that section of the front right there. But what we're going to do is give them a new little front line that kind of overlaps these two right here with an offensive line up towards Moscow. Like so. 
try to hit it from the side. Oh, looks like we, uh... Had a tipping point over here. And if we just close that off, close this little spot off, then they'll be cut off from supplies. No, they're not even in position. These tanks are really slow. Look at this is ridiculous. This is absolutely crazy. Uh, you guys do this. I'm surprised I'd actually let them go. We're just gonna knock out all these ports so they can't do anything. Luthwaffe expansion. Uh, that was a ta wait, well, that was a, um, set, uh, focus. Rocketry. Uh, rocket construction speed. National spirit, German rocketry. Flak defenses. Cars rocketry, would you get that extra research slot? So, yeah, let's do that. Isle of Man. Are we gonna invade the Isle of Man? I'm just gonna sit on it. What's going on here? Oh, there we go. Okay, that's all ours. Uh, I'm gonna accept this. That should give me all of these divisions, right? Like all these guys to work with? Yeah. So let's do this. How many is this? 90, that's all 91 right there. Okay, so what we're going to do is go garrison. God damn it. I wish you could overlay map modes. God damn it. That's annoying. Or just draw and select. That would, that would make it easier. Um, so I guess we'll give them Poland. That's East Prussia. Just tell them to move about, I guess. And start filling stuff out. Garrisoning up provinces. How much do I want to give? Let's give them just a big swath and see how well they do with it. Just use them to as, as garrison troops, basically. Moving in towards Moscow. Moving out from Leningrad. Because they're just blowing up factories left and right now. That's what we spend most of our time doing, is just rebuilding busted up factories. And I don't know why the, uh, the thing to knock off all of them at once, the little pop-up here. I guess I closed it and it's gone now. I need, like, I, like, desperately need naval bombers. That's the only way I can think of clearing this up, but goddamn, I gotta research them. Are there... There are naval bombers in here, yeah, there are. Oh, here we go, look at that. We're gonna cut this off. This is exactly what I wanted there. Closing in on Moscow. Only a few provinces away now. All right, so I think we're going to go over to naval bombers after this. Because we don't have any. Which is starting to be problematic. Alright, so. um, That's going to mean going over here. And then... This one right here. That's a naval bomber. Port strike, naval strike. Research. Yeah, get out there. Any 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 damage to the resistance? It looks like it. It looks like it. It looks like we've made some progress on the resistance. And we've cut off the units in the caucus from the uh, units outside of the caucus. Got Lulufafas flying over. Oh, who's... Everybody else is sending troops up here is flying over Moscow. And what is the uh, surrender progress at? It's got to be high. 85%. They've lost 4 million men. Which is actually, like, low compared to realistic estimates. Uh, 
All right, where's Moscow? <laughs> we got troops coming in. Like they're they're one two provinces out. The, uh, the new Panzers are moving up from the south, just like I wanted them to. They are de they definitely have a lot of troops dumped into this region, but hopefully we'll be able to overrun them without too much trouble. I wonder how many tigers we actually have in the in combat. I mean, that's a model of a tiger, isn't it? Or is that a Panzer IV? Seven per division, something like that. If it's evenly distributed, I mean, that's still more than we had before. So these guys shouldn't be able to get any supplies because I don't think they have a port. Oh, why don't you do this, and you do that, and you do that. And you go here, and you go here, and what are you guys doing down here? Um, you. Uh, control. And these, you need to pull this up. And you, you need to pull that up, like, like, like this. Come on, fix that up. Thank you, please and thank you. So, I'm wondering if Moscow is going to do the trick. We are right here. Closing in on it. Successful attacks abound. I don't know why they're not pushing the issue. Hang on, let's, um, let's do this. You're on aggressive. Put, oh, you're on aggressive too. Everybody, you're, you're already on aggressive. Like, I'll put them on aggressive stance and they'll move their asses. And they're already, get, they're already there. So this is... Ugh. Get up front. Help out. I don't care if you're slightly behind on supplies. That is abs that means nothing to me. Hmm. Can we just tell them to move their asses? Well, it looks like the attacks from the south are really doing the trick, so we'll just let them fly. We actually are assaulting the city now. We are assaulting the city of Moscow. Okay. Alrighty. I guess we'll just watch this, because it's about over. The Battle of Moscow is 50% in the favor of the German. Th the German? Yeah, it's just one German, one giant German guy doing this. It looks like it's starting to fade. You know what you could do? You could take these three divisions sitting right here that are, are doing nothing. You can bring them up here to help out. You got... In the future, you got to be able to turn that off. That is the only way to really... Oh, are we winning? No. We're losing. Losing the Battle of Moscow. Get into position. Oh, you're attacking across a river, guys. Why don't you launch the major attack from... Clear. Clear area. How's the rest of the front? Whoa! And you got caught strategically redeploying... With no strength. Alright. Um, the purple army seems to have been... Have been, uh... Screwing up pretty good here. Yeah, look at this. O almost half of the army is sitting behind the front, not actually doing anything, because it's got that... That little... Ah, oh, there's not enough supplies. I'm a pussy. Thing going. You're gonna, if you're gonna force us so that the AI control these fronts, you gotta make sure the AI is not a complete and total dunce. I'm just trying to dump everything I got into Moscow right now. If we can open up another free front, we might be able to do it. Yeah, there we go. Looks like we got it. Do we get it? And they're filtering more troops in, but I think we got it. 
Come on. Yep, Moscow fell. All right, let's see what that does for the surrender progress. Did the trick. Soviet Union's done. Fall of Moscow. At last. Soviet Union's capitulated. So that means Japan's done too. <laughs> None of the letters in German Reich even touch Germany. Oh, wow, we sank a lot of convoys there. We, we've we been doing our own fair share of convoy raiding. Um, Italy, 150 divisions. I'm going to let you guys do what you want with your divisions. Now we have all the oil in the world. Well, all the oil we could ever need. Well, most of the oil we could ever need. Still don't have the tungsten. Alrighty, so. What do we want to do now? There's still Soviet troops to mop, or uh, British troops to mop up. But I guess that's going to be pretty easy to take care of. Oh, this, ah, here we go. This, because the Soviet war was separate, we get to divvy it up. We get to divvy it up as we want it. And apparently, Japan did a third of the uh, of the work. So I don't want the border gore to be too bad. So we're just going to start gobbling up this area. And we got to make sure we get the caucuses. Because that's where the oil is. And I... <laughs> It'd be nice if we had map overlays, because I don't know where the resources are specifically. I would imagine Japan would want things over here. One would think. One would think. But one does not know for sure. Moscow, definitely take Moscow. Okay, it doesn't want me to take Moscow. Okay, I guess we're done... That's all I can take? Japan, please don't be a dick. Wait, hang on. Let me look at something. Take, take, take. Puppet. What did it puppet? Why are these states... states? Look, Japan's just taking these huge swaths of land. Well, I guess we'll just start gobbling more stuff up. What did Italy do? <laughs> Tanatuva. Forgot about them. And Penny's farting again. Should we get Moscow in there? I don't know where I don't remember where the tungsten is. So I'm just I'm just gobbling up whatever it'll make pretty border wise. I guess that's what I can take. I took too much. It's not going to be pretty, guys. <laughs> there will be no prettiness. I don't really I don't think I really like the uh the peace process in this game. It just only well, took ever <laughs> Japan. I mean, it's all useless land, but Hmm. I'm just watching. See, what, what, can I? Okay, I, I, I can do that. Seven? No, I can't do that. I'm just trying to prevent 
terrible, terrible border gore. Although, I mean, there's gonna be some. Yep, yep, there's gonna be some border gore. Oh, well. <laughs> Look at that. That is hideous. At least it's all connected. The Soviet Union is, is no more. Japan is going to be huge. I don't know why any, the AI is obsessed with puppeting stuff. Okay, I think that's, that's it. So, done. I took 101 states, Japan took 40, annexed, 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 captured 700,000 equipment. Alright, so we're gonna make sure that this stuff gets taken care of by sending troops over to deal with it. And everything else should be Japan's problem. There's a couple things right here to flush out. Uh, what we could do is just make sure that this army actually does this. There we go. Alrighty. I think we got most everything. Let's look at the resources. So I did get the tungsten. That was right there. I don't know if there's any more anywhere. It looks like Japan got a little bit of stuff. Not much. I mean, resource-wise, they didn't get a lot. They just got a lot of territory. So the Soviet Union has been defeated. That means the uh, the German-Romanian war against the Allies is the only one left up. Nice. Now this is all my land, so there shouldn't be any resistance anywhere. Yeah. Cool. I like that. We got troops heading. I, I sent troops over here. Yeah. We'll figure out who this is. Destroy. Wipe them out. Destroy them. Canadians? Is that who that is? Alrighty. That was nice. I forgot that those wars were... were separate, so that there was not one piece deal, there was two. I really wish I could... Ah, yes, good. Cleared that out. Free factories. Of course there's free factories. We just captured a bunch of stuff. Hmm. What do we need? Nothing. More trucks. Motorized infantry. More guns. More of everything. I mean, we captured military equipment, but not really anything we really needed. I don't think. Come on. Go over here. I just want to clear this up so I can focus on other things, because now America is what we need to work on. And a navy. We're going to have to focus on, uh, like, getting our equipment upgraded, building a navy. I just blooped. I don't know why I blooped. Come on, guys. You can make it. Ah, there we go. Some tanks. Some tanks stranded out here. Oh, there's some tanks stranded up here, too, in Murmansk. Uh, well... Thanks. Figured out how to dive bomb. Ground support. Sure, might as well get, might as well get through it. Uh, let's see. Computing machine. Upgraded planes. Uh, f flushing out our tank divisions properly. Things like that is gonna be what's on my mind. Uh, do 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 I should send someone up to take care of that. Rocketry. Very nice. We figured out how rockets work. And can I get the extra research slot? Okay, so we are going to end this episode right here a few minutes early so I can figure out what that bloop was. If you have enjoyed this, please just drop me a like. Leave me those comments right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays, Heart of Iron 4, just subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>